All right, good morning. October 21st, 2021. Welcome in the mornings on Main Street. If you're doing the countdown at home, we are four days away from my birthday. So plan accordingly. And we're tr still trying to work on a parade around somewhere around Middle Tennessee, maybe Rayon City on Monday. We'll have a little parade for my birthday. And so we'll have a lot of fun with that. But anyway, good morning to you. What If you've been outside this morning, it's fantastic. It, it feels like fall. It just feels wonderful. And so a little rain might be moving in later on today, but still, it's enjoyable outside. That's why I tell people October is the best month of the year, not because it's my birthday, but just the weather feels so good. And it goes a little bit in November, but then we have the time change. Now, for us who get up in the morning, uh, who do this every morning, 7 to 8, thanks for joining us. It's okay. We get an hour. The sunlight comes up a little bit hour for us, but... The bad side is it gets dark around, it seems like noon. So we uh, we have to plan accordingly. And so people, the griping, and I'm one of them, starts in two weeks when the time change. You spring forward, fall back. And so we'll have that coming. I think it's November the 7th or the 14th. One of those right in there. Please don't run with that. But I think it's one of those two days that happens what goes on. So we got a fun show for you today. A lot of good community stuff. Coming away at 710, we'll talk to a person that I met a few years ago who was just inspiring thousands. Her name is Danny Dyer. She does dannydfitness.com. Uh, she's been around doing shows, everything, for a couple of years. And her story is fantastic. You'll meet her. And you'll see something that she did that got like 4 million views on YouTube. Which, when you see it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. 720, we bring you our pet of the week, sponsored by Hunter Briley and Regal Realty Group. 730, T. Dot, uh, Rebecca Hammond from T. Dot will join us about their move over law, just kind of reinforcing the things they need to do that we need to do when we're driving on the road, help protect T. Dot workers, help protect police and all the first responders on the interstates. We'll talk with Rebecca then at 740. And I've said this for a while Nashville needs has a lot of great things, but we need a strong improv community. And Lakewood Theater coming your way this Saturday has an improv show that's happening, and you guys are invited. So we'll talk to Tammy England with that about how you can get involved with everything that goes there. Then at 7.50, we'll give you something to smile about today. Story we've ran before, but more people want to see it, so we're going to run it again. It's about an animal sanctuary here in Nashville, which is just simply fantastic. Our intern, good morning to you. How are you, buddy? How's it going, Joe? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I like your little plant behind you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I nice. need to incorporate it more, but where'd you pick that up at? Uh, again, it was Shelly. Um, shout out to her. <laughs> she uh, she's allowing me to borrow it. <laughs> she could do that. All right, let's share the screen now. Let's show you the latest headlines now for Main Street Nashville on the E newsletter that we have for you every day. And it comes out. You should subscribe to the paper to the E newsletter. It's everything. It's fantastic. And the top story today is on my good friend, Demetria Kaladimos, uh, from on air to the classroom. Demetria, I worked with her for many years at Channel 4. She's simply fantastic in the advice. And I am jealous, uh, let me click on here, I am jealous of these kids. Uh, great arc about Payne Ray, news veteran Demetria Kaladimos seeks to inspire the next generation of journalists. And let me tell you what, intern, and I got to work with her, and I am jealous of these young men and women at Lipscomb University that she'll be teaching true and pure journalism to. Not some of the stuff, this, this chaotic, dumb stuff we see today. <laughs> she will teach storytelling and everything that goes along with it and structure and content. And she is simply fantastic. And the fact that these kids get to learn from her and get to see her, and we cancel that, sorry. Uh, I'm jealous. So when I was at Channel 4, Dimitri would come and hang out in the sports office with me. We would watch Cubs games, and we would laugh and everything else. And, I, I, again, what a great article. So that's right now the latest headline on Main Street, Nashville. Just subscribe to the newsletter, and you can get all this too delivered to your inbox. It comes every single day, weekday. You got it coming to you. Uh, here at former Governor Phil Bredesen, among 10 inducted to the Healthcare Hall of Fame, uh, Governor Bredesen, Mayor Bredesen, hugely responsible for getting the Tennessee or getting the Houston Oilers to come to town. But again, you can read the article there on former Governor Bredesen inducted into the Hall of Fame. Also, another story here. Sorry, we'll go this way. It's a kind of a good story here. Uh, Pete Burr, the CEO of the First Foundation since 2002, will step down the role at the year end. The foundation announced Wednesday. And if you've not been to the Frist Center downtown, I mean, it's fantastic and all that's fantastic and it's really 
kind of brought our city to the forefront of a lot of things. So that's a nice article there as we go down. And on my look, and then you get around Middle Tennessee and Davidson Fitchell reveal latest, greatest at Donaldson Hermitage Forum. You know, my part of town. Thank you, Lori, for a nice article. So all the things that deliver to your inbox, all local every day, and some of the top headlines that you'll see today as you go forward and go on. And I'll show you this story today, which is, you know, big high school sports guy that – let me pull up right here. Thank you. This story here, you know, Green Hill High School, Tyler Palmatier, great article again. This high school in Wilson County, uh, I think it's only the second or third year in existence, and they're already 7-1. and one. They got a huge game Friday night versus Station Camp. And for second second season, sorry, right there. And a huge game. I mean, this takes years for a program to get established and get going and doing a great job. And Tyler does a great job of telling stories as well and putting things together. So that's another thing there. And we've, of course, got all the prep highlights for you for the games happening on Friday. Volleyball that's happening down there. And I want to show you one more. I'm proud to have at Main Street Nashville is the great, fantastic Main Street Media, Larry Woody. So we know, remember Larry for many years writing in the Tennessean. Just simply have him part of this staff is, is incredible. So there's some things there you can see. And, of course, subscribe to it. And then we'll go back to the uh, first page there. And then all your local and state news that's happening every day. Look at this. All that around Middle Tennessee. So, again, lead story today from on air into the classroom. Dimitri Kaladimos does that. And uh, in turn, pop it down the screen if you don't mind for a second. And then we're going to show you how you could be part of all this. Here, intern, let me show you this. I'll stop sharing my screen here. And this is vital. I love the fact that we can do this every day and bring this to you. And then here is the – okay, you want to do that, intern? Thank you there. Pop that up. And just go to the email newsletters, and you can sign up for all this. It's off the Main Street nashvillecom page and all the latest headlines delivered to you. With everything just click on it and there you go right to your inbox when you wake up that's what i do we get it if you see if you go to the main page right there the latest e-edition top left it's all local it's all for everything you need to know every weekday right there delivered to you and everything you need to know to get you going for the day and having a lot of fun and being knowledgeable and having things that go forward there all right we're off and running this morning on the show uh coming up we're gonna have our pet of the week coming away at 7 20 and then coming up next uh, a, a young lady who is from murfreesboro and she is quickly becoming one of the top fitness experts and personalities in the country so we'll have danny dyer from danny d fitness will join us here in just a little bit and a fun show getting you off on this morning on october 21st 2021 putting a smile on your face we're back with more mornings on main street right after this <music> Talking Trash, the show that's going to end littering. Brought to you by Nobody Trashes Tennessee. How was that? That fast part, that the end felt rushed. I'm going to do it one more time, Claire. Talking Trash, the show that's going to end littering. Brought to you by Nobody Trashes Tennessee. Ooh, how was that? Claire, that sound about right? It felt good to me. She feels me. Nobody Trashes Tennessee on my watch. If you really want to get the stories of Main Street in Middle Tennessee, in every community, if you want to find out what happened at the high school ball game or the kids' science fair or something that's really important in your neighborhood, you're going to go to Main Street. Is your roof in need of repairs? Maybe it's time for a full roof replacement. If so, choose Middle Tennessee's number one rated roofer. Tim Leeper Roofing has provided the Nashville area with outstanding residential and commercial services for nearly two decades. And with hundreds of five-star reviews, Tim Leeper Roofing has satisfied thousands of homeowners. To schedule a free and honest estimate, find us online at timleeperroofing.com. Hi, I'm Bonnie Ryan. 
Lynn. I'm the co-owner of Saxby's along with Lee Oliver. This is a place that mamas and daddies can be really comfortable to send their kids to for a first job. It's a place that you can have fun, feel really good about the place that you work, get paid well, have a good time. If you want to apply, you can go to applynow.com and Zaxby's will be on there. We uh, love it when we get some great folks here at Zaxby's. All right, welcome back to Mornings on Main Street. Uh, fun show for you today. All right, right now let's bring in a, a person who I just think the world of because she is real, she is genuine, and she's everything that's fantastic about people. Danny Dyer, DannyDFitness.com. Danny, good morning to you. Good morning, Joe. How are you? I'm doing great. A little backstory of how I met you. You were on Today in Nashville. Mm-hmm. I was co-hosting one morning, and you came on to the segment. And Danny, I got to tell you, your personality was so infectious that we all just fell in love with you and we all celebrate your success. And we're just so proud of how things are going for you and they're going fantastic, aren't they? Yes, they are. It's a lot of exciting things happening and uh, it just continues to just keep on going. So let's I'm take, let's today. get, let's get your backstory. Now you, you were not going to go into fitness and you've gotten to fit. Why did you go this path in your life? Um, basically because, uh, after dealing with a lot of body shaming, verbal abuse growing up, um, as a competitive dancer and not looking the part, um, I decided to turn the negative into a positive. And so once I let go of people's judgments, let go of the nonsense and kind of created my own path and my own reality, I started thriving. Right. So it, it never fit when I tried to go like do these things in a row or, or, you know, go through the typical, like go to college and then do this and do that, whatever. It just, nothing ever fit for me. And, and so I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And so when I finally stepped out of my comfort zone, started teaching group fitness classes, I was like, man, I'm really good at this, you know? And, uh, and then became a certified personal trainer from there, worked in Vermont at all women's healthy living resort, learned about body positivity and body positive fitness, which was happening up in the North, not really down South. Um, so when I came back to Tennessee, I wanted to bring that here because I felt that there was a need for it um, with everything that I had learned and how impactful it can be. And, but you've got tens of thousands of people that follow you. And could you ever, you know what, I'm going to say that, yes, you did, because you dream big, don't you? You, you dream yes. that this would well, happen. If you ask anyone literally from my path and from my my whole story, they'll be like, oh, yeah, that girl was always talking about these dreams. Like I would I would just talk and manifest it to everyone. And people were kind of like, yeah, cool. Like, yeah, good. Job. You know, and, and Barry were just like, didn't really believe in it you know but then some people were like oh they knew they knew from the beginning they're like oh you're gonna do great things um and so i just was like you know i believe in the power of positivity and believe in manifesting what you want because i believe in fighting for what you want and that's my whole slogan um and because i, I think that you can't rely on others to do that for you you know what i mean and yes. i'm for so long i relied on other people or i blamed other people or i you know had that victim mentality of well this is the body that i was given and so you know whatever and so then it was like well i need to start thriving in that i need to start appreciating that because it is the body that I was given. So, you know what I mean? And um, so, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well done. Look, you've got billboards downtown, you do events and so many people show up. Is it humbling? Um, yeah, it is because for me, I was one of these people that like, I was taking selfies when nobody was doing it. Right. Right. I I was posting things by myself and just for my own, like for my own well being and for my own health and fitness and journey to keep up with everything. And I never would have thought that people would have cared. You know, I remember when my Instagram had a couple hundred followers and, you know, and, and my best friend would be like, good job, Danny, like, keep it up. But that was it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and so it's crazy to look back at that. And then also with like the billboards and stuff, I always envisioned myself being on a billboard. I didn't really know the vision at first, like what that would be. Was it for dance? Was it for a straw man? Was it for, you know, just, you know, body positive right. fitness? Like I, I didn't know, but it all kind of evolved so effortlessly in how I've done different campaigns, like to fight for what you want, love your body, you know, et cetera. And um, so it's been a really cool, uh, like developing, you know? Yes, it's fantastic. All right, Danny, the intern's going to pull up the video that got millions <laughs> of views at a okay. strongman competition where you flipped a tire that looks like it weighs 5,000 pounds. Take me <laughs> back to that day. Were you challenged or, or was this plan you were going to do this anyway? 
Yeah, so at Strongman competitions, we have five events that we do. So I had done like a 325 pound back squat for like 14 reps. I had carried a yoke that was, you know, I think 400 pounds. I mean, I'd, I'd already done everything that day. And this event was so, this this whole competition was so cool because it was the first strongman competition in Nashville put on by my best friend and now lead trainer for Dandy Fitness, Blake Harris. And so what was really cool about that is I was super, um, I, I just was super just thankful to be there because I sponsored it and everything. And so Dandy Fitness was sponsored it. I had my ambassadors, my clients, my family was there. And it basically came down to me and this girl because uh, none of the other girls could flip the tire. And so she couldn't flip it. And so basically if she would have flipped it, she would have won if, if I wouldn't have and vice versa. So everyone knew that it came down to this. All right. So here we go. We'll take a break. We're going to play the video for you. Intern, hit it, buddy. Let's go. Let's go! Go, Jenny, go! Go! Let's go! 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 Walk there! Walk! Go! 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 Kyra weigh again? 500 pounds. Five. Had you ever done that before? Um, so no. So in practice, um, we didn't have the 500 pound tire. We had, I think like a 380 or something like that. And so right. I would do practice flipping it. So for endurance, right. And to get my strength up and things like that. Um, so yeah, so it was crazy. Um, I, no way we, nobody thought that anyone could do it. Usually at competitions, you have a few people be able to do the events, not just nobody. And then one person. And you got on sports center, Yep. On ESPN. ESPN news like it was crazy shape we shared it um yeah it, it, it was it was epic and then shape magazine did an article about my life and this whole journey that we've kind of summed up this morning um so people can go find that at shape.com or they can find it at dandy fitness one on instagram um it's in the link in my bio but but you but you deserve this and i, I tell good <laughs> things happen to good people and I, I you really are a good person and Thank everything you. you've earned every single thing you've gotten I appreciate that. And I think that that's the biggest thing that people recognize from even the video that hard work really does pay off and hard work keeps me motivated and keeps me excited for life. Um, so that's just how I've always been, even from a young, you know, young girl. Do you have a drink? What would will you tell me? You've got a drink now or something? Yes, right here. So it's my new fight energy booster. Okay. So, <laughs> <Yes>. this, <laughs> so it has a daily dose of vitamins in it. So it's more like a wellness product, right? It has um, magnesium BCAAs to help with recovery. And it's about 125 milligrams of caffeine. So about a cup of coffee. But it gets your daily dose of vitamins in it as well. I already had some. So obviously that's why I'm awake right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a billboard. You got drinks after you. I mean, where, where does this end or does it end? It doesn't end. No, um, that's the thing is, is that's what I, I don't let fear stop me from my dreams. And I think a lot of people, maybe they work harder, maybe they have more accessible like income or, or something like that, but they don't, they, 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 they let fear get in the way. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's never been a thing for me because what's the worst that could happen? Somebody says, no, someone turns it down. That's fine. I've heard a hundred thousand no's before. Um, you know what I mean? Um, and have failed, you know, as well, but it's, again, I don't look at anything as a failure. I look at it as an opportunity and that was keeping me on the right path. People want to get in touch with Danny D fitness.com. Uh huh. Yep. They can come to uh, Instagram, Dandy Fitness One, or on Facebook. They can follow on TikTok as well. Um, but dandyfitness.com, you can reach out, guys. Um, you can DM me on Instagram. Would love to hear from you. Would love to help. Um, I also have a lead trainer that I mentioned before, Blake Harris, and he trains at another gym in Nashville as well. So you have two different opportunities to work with Dandy Fitness to help love yourself a little bit more each day. I've seen the results. People are doing it, and you're, you're changing lives, Danny. So thank you. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. And you are uh, too. Yes, we will talk soon. Have you on many more times. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Danny Dyer, DannyDFitness.com. Hey, just a hey, intern, before we go to the break, can you play the flip in the tire video one more time? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Go, Danny. Go. He's doing, I'm thinking that's just like a giant chocolate donut and 500 pounds. 
she did that. She inspired so many people. I had her when I was in my TV life. We had her on TV so many times, and she truly is a great person and inspiring so many people. All right, we will take another break. When we come back, we will give you our pet of the week. And we'll tell you something about these pets of the week that I want to thank you guys for. We'll have that for you coming up next. You're watching Mornings on Main Street. We now have breaking news. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. Uh, th thank you all for coming. Wow. Uh, <laughs> more sh showed up than I originally thought. I am Red Plastic Cup. Hello. The star of the upcoming show, Talking Trash. The show that's going to end littering in Tennessee. I'm getting paid for this, right? Now, our mission is threefold. End littering keep Tennessee beautiful, and win an Emmy. And I, I look forward to getting to know each other. I can't wait to introduce you to my co-stars. They are real trash. Um, let's go ahead and take some questions. Hello? Uh, th th that's it for now, guys. Thank you, and good night. I'm sure we'll have many more of these down the road. It was just a few drinks. I'm good. I thought it was good. After every game, we always have a few. It's no big deal. It was no big deal. Hey, I can hold my liquor. I thought I could hold my liquor. Welcome back to Mornings on Main Street again. Many thanks to Danny Dyer, DannyFitness.com for what she is doing for so many people. And I took a dance class with her and it was, I don't feel like I worked out. I mean, it was that much fun. I did get a great workout, but I didn't feel like I was, you know, you're like, oh God, I got to work out, but I didn't feel that way. So she's great. All right. Every Thursday at this time, we're going to bring you our pet of the week and sponsored by Hunter Briley and Regal Realty Group. And just let me tell you, I mean, I, I, We've talked about this before with the intern and I, we go out and shoot these stories and you get the backstories on these animals, how they land in the shelter and you get mad. We get, we get mad. In, intern, come on for a second. If you don't mind. Yes, sir. These shelters, when we go there, it's, it's a dichotomy. The first part is we get mad, don't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's hard to see for sure. And then we get happy because. Because uh, yeah, once we leave, uh, we find out how many good people are in the world. And they get adopted out. I'm still right. waiting for you to get adopted out. So I know, uh, I know. Maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll make uh, find <laughs> the right match. <laughs> I'm going to foster you for a little bit and not do that. All right. So here we're going to we're going to bring you uh, our pet of the week, and it's a special pet of the week as they all are, but it's also a special event happening up here in Lebanon on Saturday, and you'll see more about it right now. So enjoy our pet of the week. Hey everybody, it's Hunter Briley. Once again, Pet of the Week is upon us. We are so proud to be here and proud to be sponsors with Big Joe Dubin and Mainstream Media. We've got a special one for you today. Mr. Mac up at New Leash on Life. You're going to love this guy. He needs our help so bad, ladies and gentlemen. You'll find out in a minute why. They also have a great event coming up this Saturday that Joe's going to tell you all about. Take it away, Joe. 
All right, Hunter, thank you. We've come to see our good friends at New Leash on Life in Lebanon. And man, we got a beautiful puppy dog for you today. Meet Mac, right? Mac is half boxer, half something else, but he's full on absolutely handsome. Aren't you a handsome boy, Mac? That's right. Mac is seven years old. He's beautiful. Look at this coat. Well behaved, well loved. Now, Mac is heartworm positive. But here's the good news, my friends. If you adopt Mac, all of his heartworm medication medication is taken care of. You won't spend a dime. It's all taken care of to make this sweet boy happy and healthy and live a great and live a great, great life. Isn't that right, Mac? Do you like that? He's look how marked and beautiful he is. Every week we have these beautiful puppy dogs. You guys have done great adopting out and Mac needs that forever home. And as I said, any dog that can sit here and listen to my voice for about 45 seconds and not go crazy is a special kind of puppy dog. Isn't that right, Mac? Again, he's at New Leash on life here in Lebanon just waiting to see you and look at that precious boy are you precious okay get a kiss ah oh, he got kisses too his tail's wagging that a boy so come see Mac at new leash on life he just needs the next opportunity to make you happy make himself happy and have that forever home all right Mac we'll get you home buddy we love you another kiss ah, yeah kisses and that event is bark in the park here in Lebanon Saturday October 23rd from 11 to 4 at the Wilson County Fairgrounds food music and fun for the whole family free admission dogs welcome free rabies vaccinations again that's bark in the park this saturday october the 23rd but if it's new leash on life here in lebanon and the great work that they do all right i'll be out here on saturday hope to see you too as well hunter back to you my man there's the event come out and see us saturday Come give Mac a chance. He's going to be a perfect dog for somebody out there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are looking for a home for yourself, whether that be commercial, uh, sell a home or buy a home, or you have some investment questions, feel free to call me. There's my email address and there's my phone number. I'll be happy to take care of you. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you, Hunter and Regal Realty Group. You guys are the best. And next week, we're going to tell you about an event that Hunter is going to put on with us here at Mornings on Main Street uh, it's called, yeah, God, I don't want to give it away, but it's a cool event happening in December that we want all you guys to be involved in. And it's a free event. So Hunter will join us next week. We'll talk about this event that's happening in December. And again, we were at New Leash on Life in Lebanon on Tuesday. And when Justin, when the intern and I go, we spotlight a, a puppy dog. And then I ask, what's the longest one that's been there? Uh, kind of a secondary segment for us and we posted one on a uh, blue healer aussie mix that she was chunky and she, she's like if i was a dog that would have been me she's like chunky she's a little lazy she's adorable that's me as a dog and she got adopted out that afternoon and so no longer is she in the shelter she's got a home forever and so that made the intern and i really really happy so thank you all for really embracing this segment and helping out the shelters around Middle Tennessee. Not only do you, when you adopt a, an animal, do you make the animal happy, but the workers in the shelter that spend every day there with them and walk and just walking them, walking them and feeding them and hoping somebody comes by and, and adopts them. And that's what happened there. So thank you guys so much. Come back. We'll take a break. We'll be joined by Rebecca Hammonds from TDOT with a message that we need simply to keep telling everybody about over and over again. Rebecca will join us next right here on Mornings on Main Street. While federal coverage is really important, often I really think that a lot of the decisions that are going to impact you most are made at the local level. Like, um, where's the stop sign's going to go? What's your speed limit going to be? How much are you going to pay in property taxes? We talked about that a lot. Um, and, you know, how much funding the schools are going to get, um, zoning decisions that are going to impact, you know, which developers can come in and change the neighborhoods and, and grow the city. And all those decisions are going to be made at the local level. It's just a few cocktails at happy hour. It was just a few cocktails at happy hour. You <laughs> <laughs> really good try. There aren't any cops around. I didn't think there were any cops around. I drink and drive all the time. Sir. Sir, you've been in a serious crash. I need you to hang on, okay? Love your hands, sir. You are okay. 
but probably just like getting to talk to people, getting to figure out why they do the things they do, especially people who aren't used to being interviewed, like just regular everyday people, because a lot of times they don't realize that what they're doing is out of the ordinary and that it is interesting and special and they don't see that they have a story to tell when it's like right there, right in front of them. Trustworthy. That's an overused word in today's society. I get it, but people use it as a punchline. They don't use it as a core value system. When you know that you can trust a roofing company to do what they say they'll do to honor their word, to make sure that when you leave, everything is as it should be, you're going to get your money's worth whenever you do business with them. Look for the name under the roof. Welcome back to Mornings on Main Street as we get you going on this October 21st, 2021. Now, we are, are proud to have uh, our good friends at TDOT to be part of this show with the message of just driving safe. And I think TDOT is underrated what they do in the state of Tennessee and the way they take care of the roads and the people. So this morning, we're joined by Rebecca Hammonds with TDOT. There she is. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Joe. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on with us. And I've got something from, uh, I have my T-Dot coffee cup. Look at you. You're better than me. I don't even have my T-Dot <laughs> mug with me today. <laughs> well, I will wash this and send it to you and you can have it. So <laughs> compliments of morning on Main Street. Uh, Rebecca, we have to just drive this lesson home every year of just every day. Slow down. Slow down. Yes. It's that simple, isn't it? But yet nobody does that. Yeah. Slow down, move over. You know, we... It's a campaign every year, but honestly, it is our campaign and it is our slogan 24 seven. We want to make sure that our workers are safe, but not just our workers, that you all, that everyone on our roads stays safe. And that starts with slowing down and moving over when there's work or crashes. And unfortunately it, it happens all the time in some numbers of fatalities and injuries. I wish it was zero, but unfortunately it's not. And maybe one day we get there and with the awareness and, you know, and I, I, I will give the positive to Rebecca. I do see when there's a first responder or an officer on the side of the road, people are being very cognizant more now than I've ever seen, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we hope so. I mean, that's what we want, right? Like whether it's a work zone or a crash or any kind of incident on the roadway, right? We want people to pay attention. You know, we always say, watch out, slow down, move over. But really that watching out part is so critical because if you're not paying attention, that, that uh, fender bender is just waiting on you. And then you're the one that's blocking the roadway and you're the one that people are having to watch out for. So really it's that, you know, chain reaction. Um, and, you know, it, we saw a pretty startling thing when the pandemic hit, you know, everyone kind of thought, well, you know, people aren't going to work. People are on the roads. Um, maybe we'll see improvements, but we actually saw an increase mm. in fatalities on our roads. Um, so, you know, whether it be distracted driving or just trying to get somewhere too quickly, you know, we just want to encourage people to just stay safe. You know, there there is nothing so serious that your life is is worth risking it for. And I, people got to realize move over is a law, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and unless you want to hand over five hundred dollars in a fine, <laughs> That is an important one to stick by. Yeah, so the law was passed, I have it right here. The law was passed in 2006, actually. Um, so it's been around for a while. And it's it's kind of crazy to think that people don't still don't know this, but it is a Tennessee law that when there is an incident on the road it, that involves any kind of first responder, um, and especially a work zone, it is the law to move over. And if you cannot move over, because we all know you know, our roads right. can get congested. <laughs> yes. If you physically cannot move over, you have to at least slow down. Yeah. And I, again, I see the positive people because growing up, people would just fly by the cars on the side of the road and not pay attention. But now, and I actually see people letting other people in because they know what's happening and what's going on there. So there is, and, I, and I, I'm an awful driver, but I'm getting better. But we, I see it, people getting let over and everything. But again, the message of just slowing down and, it's yeah. got to be something that I tell my son that he's learning how to drive. I'm like, 
go the speed limit right now. Don't just that's what you need to worry about. And I think it starts at a young age and we all have to put the pedal to the metal. But we see it. And, and unfortunately, accidents do happen, Rebecca. And I hate the fact they that do. we've got to cover them and you guys got to talk about them. You know, I mean, we we will always be talking about this, right? Like here at TDOT, you know, that's that's our business, right? We want to make sure people are safe, but we know that life happens. I mean, I have to say, you know, to be very honest with you, Joe, I'm not the best driver either. Right. And I, I work here and I'm proud to be part of TDOT um, and represent TDOT. But I was just recently in a fender bender. You know, I, I know that life happens and we know that life happens. But every minute that we can spend intentionally focus on what we're doing in the car is every minute that, you know, another life is saved and that people are kept safe. Right. Um, you know, I, we've got a, an, a, well, a campaign coming up um, called Crash Responder Safety Week. And, you know, I know that we're going to talk about that a lot more in the future. But, you know, our help truck drivers are um, the ones who respond. So right. if something happens or if there's, you know, it's debris on the road or a disabled driver, they're the ones that respond. And I was talking to one of our drivers the other day and he, he just said, you know, I think about what's the rush? And we all know, right? Like we know what the rush is. We're trying to get where we're trying to go. Yeah. But he was like, is it worth me not getting home to my family? Is it worth you not getting home to your family? Good point. Um, and hearing this big burly guy, you know, next to his truck say that just melted my heart because you just think, oh gosh, you know, that extra five minutes, it wasn't, it's not worth it. You're right. Rebecca, what is your job exactly at TDOT? I know a community relations officer, but what does a day entail for you? Yeah. So I, I my title is community relations officer here at Region 3, which is Middle Tennessee um, from, you know, state line to state line. Um, I am raising awareness. Um, I'm answering media questions. I am... Um, <laughs> You name it. <laughs> Honestly. What, everything that goes on with that. Rebecca, what I would like to do, and I, when I was over there back in April or May for Work Zone Safety Awareness Week, I think that's yeah. what it was, uh, I, I would love to go in and, and put the message on the boards, electronic boards, but I was told to stay far away from those boards. So, you know, we, we don't know each other that well, but I know that they don't let many people hear right. those boards. <laughs> exactly. But the, I think people, and we showed the nerve center over at TDOT where you are yeah. in West Nashville. And I just, I think I stood there for 15 minutes, didn't say a word, looking at all the people monitoring all the roads so to say that you guys monitor the roads all the time you do i mean there's people well, there yeah 24 7. that is that is literal i mean we mean that literally because you know and, and what joe's referring to is we have a traffic management center which it looks like a big command center basically with a lot of different screens that um you know are crews and people are watching. We have, that's why we talk about the um, intelligent technology support systems along our roadways. Right. There are cameras that are along our interstates and highways, and they're able to see and watch those roadways all the time. And when an incident happens, when there's a disabled vehicle, when something occurs on the road, they are the ones pushing out that alert. You know, I always want to talk about our SmartWay system. That is, yes. that's it. And if you go to SmartWay um, online, you can see in real time, those incidents being cleared, they will give you the information of the crash. I mean, if you just check that even before you head out the door in the morning, you'll be able to see like, oh, hey, dang, that road's blocked. Let's go the other direction this morning. So it, we are we are consistently watching those roads. And, and again, I think you guys are vastly underrated in what you do for the state of Tennessee. So, Rebecca, thank you so much for explaining what you guys do and about slowing down and moving over. Oh, Joe, thank you so much for having me. We are always happy to talk about it. Um, you know, we just want to make sure that people are safe. That's all. Fantastic. Rebecca, have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. You as well. All right, Rebecca Hammonds from TDOT. And again, they do a great job. And those intern, do we have a smart way camera or are we going to just go to the break? Because you pull those up and you can see everything that goes on around the uh, the city and what happens there. I caught them off. Yeah, the I can. Door. No, I uh, hold on one second. I can get you. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll show you what Rebecca's talking about. And those cameras are 24 7. 
And I remember we used them when I worked in the TV world, and we use them all the time. So I might have caught you off guard, intern. I apologize for that. There we uh, go. Should be coming up now, yeah. Yeah, intern, <laughs> thank you. That's 40 Fessler's coming in. Intern, what do I tell you? If you're coming to town, what's the uh, advice? Left lane gas to the floor, right? No, I'm just joking, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just left joking. Left lane because the people emerging on the on-ramp – that backs up a little bit. It's getting the far left lane. All right, great job, intern. Thank you, my man. Come back. There is a very cool event happening Saturday in town. I want you guys to know about. We'll tell you more on what that is. Coming up next, you're watching Mornings on Main Street. My name is Jonathan Burton. I'm the head baseball coach here at Reinhardt University in Georgia. And uh, just want to take this time to congratulate Coach Hunt on 41 years of baseball and gets the chance to be the uh, assistant athletic director at Cumberland. And I know everybody there is thrilled to death to still have you. And I uh, just want to say how much I value our friendship, uh, your mentorship, uh, our weekly conversations. And, you know, those are things that I'll, I'll never take for granted. And I uh, just want to wish you nothing but the best. And so excited for you and your family as Ryan gets a chance to start his uh, head coaching career at Cumberland. But most importantly, just wanted to, to say thank you and, and how much you mean to me and others there. Um, we really appreciate the things that you do for the game of baseball. All right, welcome back, everybody. I just get lost watching the the puppy dogs there, especially that cute one. Uh, where we come back from the break. All right, you know I've said this before that Nashville is a vibrant, great city, and there's a lot of things that we have here. But one thing we've been missing for a while is a strong kind of improv community that's being taken care of, my friends. Great event happening on Saturday night with improv. It'd be a lot of fun. Let's bring in Tammy England from the Lakewood Theater Company to talk more about this. Tammy, how are you? Okay, we'll have to work on your audio there just a tad bit because I, I can see you, but I can't hear you. That's okay, though. That's all right. So Hi. I, there we go. Tammy's there. All right. All right. How are you, Tammy? I'd be good if I keep this thing on. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Look, I make a thousand mistakes a day, and I just laugh at them all off. All right, Lakewood Theater Company improv group happening on saturday tell us more about this well it is um an adult improv troupe that uh, we've been wanting to start at lakewood for i don't know about four years now and finally we're able to get going um this will be our second performance it is blue comedy that means it does get a little um Yes. R-rated at times right. uh, with the comedy. Um, right. And it is BYOB for the for the audience to, to come in. Why was this important that you guys started doing this? Because I've heard it's going really well. And I, I just love it for the community of our area. And I like the blue part of this because to explain it, because it is adult. 
It is fun. Why is this important to have? Um, well, we are a very conservative theater and, um, we, you know, we want to take some risks sometimes, and this allows us to take those risks. It allows us to continue to build our comedic skills. It allows us to continue to build within our community, um, with really being able to be there for them, um, build those bonds and, um, and, and, and to have a blast um, to kind of break out of, of the uh, restraints that a typical show would have. You know, and people to realize this, every cast member, I probably 95% that made it to Saturday Night Live, all of them started in improv. I mean, yes. you go back to Jim Belushi, uh, John, well, Jim and John Belushi and Aykroyd and Will Ferrell, all started community theater, things like this, like improv. So there's a lot of growth, a lot of fun that's happening here. That's going to happen here. Yes. And, and it's a good time. Uh, this one's a Halloween theme. Ooh. It, uh, the audience is encouraged to dress in costume. Uh, we'll be in costume on stage in fun Halloween costumes. And the whole show is, is themed uh, around Halloween. So it's, it's going to be a good time. If you want to have a fun date night, um, come out with a group of friends, this this is a fun thing to do. Uh, yeah. The last group came out, uh, the last show, we even had a group come out because it is BYOB. They brought a rolling cooler, full-size cooler with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's well done. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I want to say this too as well, Lakewood Theater Company, you guys just finished a play a few weeks ago. It was sold out. And what you guys do, and we did TV with you back in June, Shakespeare in the Park. I just think what you guys do, Tammy, is so vital to our city and everything else that goes on. And you, you, your staff and your people at Lakewood, I mean, you're surrounded by great people, aren't you? We really are. And, you know, we're, we're, community theater. So we're all volunteers. And uh, so we, we've got a fabulous board. We've got uh, lots of great volunteers to really uh, make everything happen uh, within uh, the theater and to put on these quality shows. What's the next show that we have coming up? Gift of the Magi. That is December 3rd through the 19th at Lakewood and that's a Christmas show so that one's that one's gonna be a lot of fun they've been hard at work rehearsing for that so they've even that's they're going to have live carolers for that one. Oh, look at you guys moving to the next level there and do all that I came out you know I we did a story when you guys were doing the play uh what well, I guess about a month or so ago and just the fact that you know we help can I help you guys raise awareness of what you guys are doing over there? And now with the improv happening on Saturday night, again, I just think that's a great thing for a community theater to have and have the improv, because if you look around, there's not many improvs around middle Tennessee. Yeah. Um, there's a few out there, but not, not a whole lot. And uh, this, it just really kind of gives us a little bit of an edge with, you know, doing so much concern, conservative things and so this gives us a little bit of an, an edge to to break out of that mold a little bit and uh and have some fun so if people come saturday night and just want to watch the improv will they be pulled off the of the audience on the seats? i think that makes it all the more fun <laughs> it wouldn't be improv if we didn't <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> what time is it starting on saturday it's at 7 30 tickets are ten dollars um, the best thing is to reserve a seat at Lakewood Theater Co. at gmail.com. Um, just to let us know that you're coming because we are a small theater and can only see 48 people at a time. So we want to make sure we save a seat for you. It's just, again, the I walking in there and seeing what you guys do and how intimate it is. I can only imagine how much fun an improv show is going to be in there. It last one was an absolute blast. So uh, <laughs> we, we look again, forward to seeing everybody again. And again, BYOB. Yes. $10. It's the perfect night. Yes. And you get to wear a costume. 
And you Even get to better. wear a costume. Costumes <laughs> are strongly encouraged. Yes. <laughs> Tammy, thank you again. I, I tell you, I thank the world of you and your staff at Lakewood Theater because we need you guys are vital to our community and we'll help keep spreading the word about the great things you guys are doing. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Tammy England with Lakewood Theater Company again. You can get them on Facebook at Lakewood Theater Company. Sell information there. And she said Lakewood Theater co at gmail.com for tickets improv is so much fun it's 10 bucks in byob that's a perfect night all right we'll take a break on the other side we'll come back with something to smile about right here on uh, mornings on main street i got it right see you in a minute Hi, I'm Bonnie Ryan. I'm the co-owner of Zaxby's along with Lee Oliver. And we have owned this Lebanon Zaxby's, had it open almost 17 years now. We've been really excited to be in the community and be a part of the Zaxby's family. And we're most excited about how the community has supported us over these 17 years. One of the things that we have always prided ourselves on here at Zaxby's is this is a place that mamas and daddies can be really comfortable to send their kids to for a first job or if you're coming in for another job. It's a place that is a family environment. It's owned by folks that are family. And it's a place that you can have fun, feel really good about the place that you work, get paid well, have a good time. So we uh, love it when we get some great folks here at Zaxby's. If you want to apply, you can go to applynow.com and Zaxby's will be on there. Or you can come here to the store. We've got all kinds of ways that you can use your phone to apply as well. Uh, for the same reason a, a, a beagle chases rabbits, it's, it's, it's in my blood. I, I started reading newspapers, uh, Lydia, before I could read. When I was a little kid in Crossville growing up, my mom taught me to read at about five years old, so I would read the Crossville Chronicle, our, our hometown paper, and it was so exciting. I'd wait on Thursday morning for the Chronicle to arrive. I, I've, I've been fascinated by newspapers uh, all, all my life. Since I was five years old, that's all I wanted to do. I'm deeply honored to be here. Thank you so much. Um, let's go ahead and take some questions. And yes, it is now my mission to end littering in Tennessee. Am I real because you don't see my mouth moving? Uh, well, you hear me, right? So, yes, I'm real. And I don't have a mouth because I'm a cop. 100 million pieces of litter at any given time on our roadways. Now you know why I'm doing the show. I'm here for you guys. I'm here for the whole state. Join the movement. Make me proud. All right, welcome back to Mornings on Main Street. We're going to give you something to smile about today. We're going to show you one of our, we've run this story before like last week, but we want to show it again because it's truly a great place. Animal Sanctuary right here in Davidson County, up over in White's Creek, they do a great job. It's something to smile about. It's brought to you by Delta Dental of Tennessee. They're offering dental and vision plans for groups and individuals. Individuals Learn more at deltadentaltn.com. Here is something to smile about. with a, a little you know seven acre property with about four usable acres on it and and thinking it was just going to be a fun little property for the two of us and it turned into an animal sanctuary we hit capacity really quickly there you know there are so many animals um, that need homes that need you know safe places to be these animals are neglected and abused and and you know so so you know hitting capacity it was sort of that thing where Jeff and I have had a conversation um, you know, roundabout, what are we going to do next? Now, all of a sudden, um, this came up and uh, it's literally a mile from the old property. You can walk here. It's on the same street and it opens up so much room so that we don't have to say no anymore. When people think of an animal sanctuary, Davidson County doesn't come to mind. Do you get that from people sometimes? Yeah, we get it all the time. As a matter of fact, when um, people come to visit the farm, they say, oh, wow, you were, you were so close to us. We expected it to be really far away. Um, so, yeah, you know, 15 minutes for people in East Nashville and West Nashville and downtown um, to get to, a, to an animal sanctuary. It's, it's right here in, in, in town. It's great. How many acres do we have now with this? We have seven additional acres with this property. So now total we have about 11 
um, usable acres for animal intakes. And this is going to be specifically for? Yes, so um, we're going to start this out as goat and sheep. And um, it's going to allow us to be able to say yes to larger animals such as cows, alpaca, llama, you know, things like that that we had to say no to um, before. So, so we're really excited to be able to open things up a little bit more. Currently, what do we have? Currently, we have about 26 goats, 6 sheep, 13 pigs, um, 4 horses, a tortoise. Uh, we serve as the rooster rescue of Greater Nashville, so we've got un, unnamed uh, <laughs> numbers of, of roosters at the farm right now. So we have a few really amazing sponsors. We would love to find some more. Um, Tito's Vodka is our largest corporate sponsor, and we've got a few angel donors um, out there who have helped us out quite a bit. Um, corporate sponsors are a dire need of ours to be able to continue to, you know, um, do things like this where we we really have expensive things that we have to put on the farm like right. you know barns and fences and and things like that you know it really it really takes some some large chunks of change again let's put this you keep these animals forever we do we do yes um once they hit piccolo farms they're here they're here for life it's their forever home and i've heard from people that visit it's more than just a visit it's therapy it is therapy yes and um we do work with other uh, nonprofits around Nashville, such as In Slavery Tennessee, the Dream Center of, we, of West Nashville, where we bring in some of the inner city kids. Um, so it does serve as therapy um, quite often, even for some of the other non nonprofits around town. Why did you guys do this? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea why we did this. But, um, you know, why do we keep doing this is a really good question, um, is because it's amazing. I mean, the animals just do so much amazing work, something that we had no idea. Um, that was going to happen. Jeff and I, I think for the first year and a half, we're like, what have we done? And now we've just sort of accepted it as this is our mission in life and the animal's mission in life. And um, yeah, we're here to keep it going. Can you imagine your life being anything else now? No. I also can't <laughs> imagine going on vacation. That would be awesome. That'd be awesome. All right, thank you. It's Pick a Little Farm. There's something to smile about. Thank you. Delta Dental of Tennessee, now offering dental and vision plans for groups and individuals. DentalTN.com. Yeah, right there in front of us. Thank you, Delta Dental. That's something to smile about. All right, end term, before we get out of here, we got to do celebrity birthdays real quick. We'll give you a couple that I want to get your uh, answer to. All right, intern, you ready? You out there? Yes, sir. All right, Judge Judy's birthday today. Uh, you got to get within two years. How old is Judge Judy? Let's see. Judge Judy is going to be 63 today, possibly. That's not bad. She's 79. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my celebrity crush, Kim Kardashian. How old is Kim today? Uh, Kim is 20, oh, not 20, 32. Not bad. She's 41. And ah. then I'm going to give you one right in your wheelhouse. Something I, I just recently learned this person existed. Uh, Doja Cat. Oh, Doja Cat. Yeah, I, I know a couple of her songs. Uh, <laughs> let's see. She is uh, probably 28. She's 26. Well <laughs> there done. you go. Me and Doja. Yeah. Doja Cat. Like this. <laughs> is she very popular? Uh yeah, she's not not popular. <laughs> I guess for for someone that's savvy on current events like myself. Right. But you you're getting better. You get one celebrity birthday uh a day now. So you're getting better. So thank you for that, man. <laughs> of course, man. Thank you, Joe. All right. Stay right here because come up 11 o'clock, Devin O'Day will have her show today, the very latest, coming your way across the Main Street Media platforms. Always a fun show with Devin. So much entertainment stuff and local stuff that's happening. So Devin O'Day will be here with you at 11 o'clock. We will be back tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock to get you ready for the big weekend and uh, the countdown for my birthday on Monday as well. Again, thank you all. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Danny, for everybody for joining us the show today, for everybody watching at home. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow.